Hello everyone, welcome back. So today, I'm in Western Supermare. I need somewhere to park. What's different about Western Supermare is that, well, you can actually park on the beach, which is such a weird experience. There's a sign there that says I have to be off by eight o'clock, because if I don't, well, the car will be underwater. I guess the only problem is that I'll definitely get sand in the car. It's just really weird actually cars on the beach the tide goes out pretty far here a lot of warning signs about sinking mud and quicksand because western supermare has the second highest rise and fall of tide in the world which is nearly a range of 15 meters which means at low tide the sea can be almost one mile away from the promenade. That is scary and also quite a walk. I'm ruining my shoes. This is so cool, a racing track in a pier. So I'm gonna start the tour right up the far end of the seafront. The distance, you can see the Grand Pier. There's two piers in Western Supermare. One that's obviously not used anymore and is looking very sorry for itself. And the other one where you have to pay to actually go on, but there's quite a lot of cool stuff on there. And in front of us as well, there's a fair on the beach, but this is of course a very big tidal beach. So it has to be protected by this massive wall uh, that surrounds it on the beach. One thing about Western Supermare for me is um, how different it feels compared to other seaside resorts. You get a very old feeling of when you're in Western Supermare. Not only the, uh, the brickwork around the beach, but also some of these buildings where you can sit in out of the wind. See what I mean? How old is that? There's a little mini tidal pool just there for the kids, basically. You may remember Western Supermare was also quite famous for a lot of pop concerts that used to happen on the beach, including the old Radio 1 road shows. Good morning, Western Supermare! And that's obviously because the beach is so big, um, so flat, and obviously when the tide goes out, it's able to handle these big events. There's more beach parking here. It's so weird. Funland, just in front of us, it looks like it's built in a fortress right on the beach. Obviously, that's to protect it um, from the tide. Let's go and have a look in there, shall we? Now, I don't know whether it's because I know that it is built almost like a fortress, but I kind of feel a little bit claustrophobic in here with the walls built up all around the side. The vibe I get with Western Supermare is that, well, things haven't changed in a while. In fact, a lot of these seafront seating areas look very outdated and old and in need a bit of TLC like that. That's seen better days. But of course the big draw here is the beach. It is big, it's amazing and it is really nice and sandy. The classic donkey rides 
on the beach there's even a uh, a horse pulling a Thomas the Tank train engine over there and what seafront would not be complete without a big wheel One of the main draws to Western Supermare, standing proud on the beach, is Grand Pier. It's got such an impressive entrance. Just look at that. So this is one of the piers that you have to pay. So it's a pound to pay to go on the pier. The only problem is if you don't have cash, they don't take contactless. I think it's safe to say that uh, the Grand Pier has definitely had a rocky past. It was built back in 1904. It's now a Grade 2 listed building and it has suffered from three different fires from over the years. But I tell you what, the grand entrance to the Grand Pier looks mighty fine with the architecture. Let's go and check it out. Certainly is a bit of a long walk as well. Just swinging around to the right here, you can see the Winter Gardens just over there. So if you're wondering what this is to the left-hand side, basically it's a covered walkway. So in the rain, you can still walk up the pier and stay dry. So the main frontage of the Grand Pier was rebuilt back in 2010. Looks pretty good. There's a little bit of a balcony up the top there. And it looks pretty good underneath. We'll go and have a walk in a bit. So what's in Grand Pier, I hear you cry? Well, basically, there's a few amusements and also some rides. I don't know if that's running at the moment, but that is called the Robot Arm, and you basically sit in it and it throws you around. I don't know if it's going at the moment. But it's a pretty big open space. How many piers do you know that have got an escalator? Well, I've walked in here and I'm struggling to find how I get upstairs. Right, here we go. I found the escalator. So, unbelievably, there is an actual racetrack here as well. There's got go-karts going around the top. This place is insane. So this is the Roba Coaster. It's five pounds to go on, but unfortunately, it's closed. Would you want to sit on there and get thrown around? I so badly want to press the button. Let's go and have a look on the balcony and get a bird's eye view of the beach and over the top of the pier. Great views up here. Grab a coffee. What a cool little ride for the kids. <laughs> That's so strange. You've literally got everything in here. The laser maze. Although I'm not quite sure the Egyptian theming. You've got a crazy house as well in here. These are so cool. These are racing simulators. This is so cool. A racing track in a pier. This is as far as you can go. 
from the end of the pier you can see that little island you can see steep Holm, which is a private island used by smugglers back in the day so obviously the fire in 2008 completely changed the whole building there used to be a, a theater in there as well but some people say actually since that was built in 2010 it's actually made the pier a lot better tell me what you think in the comments and tell me if you actually remember going to see a show on the Grand Pier here in Western Supermare. And a special mention to a really nice restaurant here in Western Supermare. In fact, it's the oldest building here, dating back from 1774. The old thatched cottage. Wow, these are nice. Do they cook on there? I'll tell you what, it's quite roomy under the pier. So in the distance, you've got the Grand Pier, the Winter Gardens and Western Supermare Seafront. And over here, you've got the bathing area uh, built back in the 1920s for a safe place for kids and families to go and have a swim. It's been recently closed because of, uh, of the mud building up and people getting stuck in it. So they've brought the dredges in to sort the problem out and hopefully it should uh, reopen again sometime soon. That's a high tide. You walk over there, it's covered in water. But it's, uh, it's basically like a tidal pool. You can just see the problem they've got here with the mud in Western Supermare. But hopefully this will be open up again. And it's quite nice to walk across there when the water's just coming over especially when you're wearing flip-flops. But next, we're gonna take a look at that very old pier over there. This is Burnbeck Pier, or known as the Old Pier to the locals. The pier has been closed to the public since 1994, and as you can see, it's pretty dilapidated. It used to be popular with locals and tourists. It was a boarding point as well for steamers. It's actually gone under various extensions and modifications over the years. Part of the pier collapsed actually during the storms back in December of 2015. So that was my tour of Western Supermare. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget as well to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. I'll see you next time.